Hey guys, and welcome back. Um, Sydney and I, I, I was on an adventure to try to go take a specific picture in front of a red old fashioned truck with like a Christmas, it's like a Christmas thing. So anyway, I wanted to go like take little Christmassy pictures and um, if you guys aren't familiar, so I live in like the Kennebunks area. Kennebunkport is really well known for the Christmas prelude. It's like a Christmas celebration. Anyway, it just kicked off yesterday and I wasn't even thinking today's Saturday. Worst day ever, the first Saturday of prelude to go try to drive and take pictures. Um, I don't even know what I was thinking. It was outside and so we've been in the house for three days now and I'm like, I really wanna just even just get in the car and drive somewhere. Uh, we're not gonna go in anywhere, we're gonna be respectful, but I'll have to make that happen another day. Prelude, oh my gosh, like that little truck, the, oh my word. It's just the most like festive Christmas time of year and it's super busy, lots of festivities going on. All the stores are doing things. The town's decorated and like, yeah. So Sydney obviously dressed up for the occasion. Can you show them? Well, I can't because my Ooh. wand is here. Oh yeah, her her wand. She dropped her wand. Still doing okay. Sydney's doing great. We're still hanging out at negative. We made a really quick pit stop back at home to go potty, um, and we are starving. So just decided to go through a drive-thru and the only one near us is McDonald's. So we're gonna go through the McDonald's drive-thru Sydney wants. Um, chicken nuggets, I want chicken nuggets guys. So don't tell them mama. Chicken nuggets, like she said. Don't tell them. Oh, you're right, okay. Your order? Okay. And there you are. Thank you, you too. Is it Where's I need to eat my... Just... Be careful, don't drop anything. I think I'm gonna just try to film tomorrow and call it good. It's basically been impossible to vlog. You want water, honey? Do you want milk actually or water? Water, I'll grab water. We've had landscapers here doing like fall, winter cleanup and whatnot loud uh, for the past couple of days so it's just been a little bit hard to vlog so I'm gonna do myself a favor and just I feel like everything that I've tried hang on <laughs> everything that I've tried to film today careful it's a wide mouth open okay has kind of been a fail I was gonna go you know do the picture thing and like go downtown which is just way too busy Tell you what, I am very grateful to have some freezer stock. So one thing's for sure, I am very grateful that uh, I kind of have a little stash, like a freezer stock and some stuff from like uh, Sam's Club in my garage for moments like this when we're kind of quarantining. Yeah, I can get takeout delivery and yes, I can order groceries. Like luckily with how things are nowadays, you can order groceries online and have them delivered. So obviously Boo. it's not as big Boo. a deal. <laughs> uh, but obviously just grateful that, you know, I have, don't have to worry about food, um, you know, for the next few days. Anyway, we are gonna have just an easy, have an easy uh, meal tonight. Trader Joe's. I just went to Trader Joe's. Uh, cheese filled fiochetti with pink sauce and I'm gonna put peas with that. The only thing is, um, what sweetie? Good manners. Mommy, I can have your earrings on me because, because, because these earrings are on me where I will hold. Yeah, you can use those. Those are little clip-ons. Would you like your ears pierced someday? No. No? That actually has me thinking. Um, would you guys be interested in seeing like what I have in my freezer chest? I've kind of been using quite a bit of it <laughs> over the past few days. Um, so it's less than what I had, you know, a couple of weeks ago. Um, but maybe I'll show you on, maybe I'll show you in a little bit, like after I cook dinner. Um, I'll show you what's in my freezer chest and then what I have 
stocked. Like I don't have a huge, like a huge stock supply. Um, but just ever since, you know, pandemic hit, I was slowly but surely like getting backups of things and like making sure I have enough toilet paper, paper towel, you know, you know how that goes. So I guess maybe I'll show you in, in this video since I wasn't really able to vlog much today because I feel like just things didn't go right from filming. I was trying to film in the car earlier and the sun was shining so much. Some of it like it was all black and some of it was all white washed out so I couldn't film in the car. And then when I came home to film, we had the landscapers here and it was so loud, it, I couldn't talk. So yeah, I guess I'll share with you what's in my freezer chest and garage. Okay guys, so guys, a look at this really, 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 really close. Step stool, so I have a new step stool. She got me it. Honey, are you hot? So she could do you're new wearing two shirts. Let's take it this off. Yeah, I wanted to take it off. I bet you're hot. Today. I wanted to take it off today. Yeah. Ah, is that okay, better? guys. Okay, guys. Now you can see my shirt. Now I look beautiful so I can talk to you. I like lollipops, guys. And now I want chocolate. A lot. Let me know if you have a kid, okay? If you kid has eczema, just don't give it back moms. Like the bad moms that give me eczema. They'll still go around. Okay, but okay guys, bye. I'll see you soon in the morning and I'll talk to you, all, to you guys about everything I talked to you this year. But bye, I cannot talk anymore. Okay, so just going to share some of my backups that I have. I actually just went through um, pretty much all of my canned vegetables, but I do have a corn. I usually make like soups and things with those. Lots of diced tomatoes. This one's the green chili I like to use in my uh, chicken tortilla soup. We have one with garlic and onions. That way I can make like crock pot meals and dinners and whatnot. Just regular diced tomatoes. We have beans, garbanzo beans back there. Um of things like that we have um i actually have a couple cans of tomato paste for recipes i have a few things of chicken broth um you know this is like so unorganized a big thing of peanut butter i have one also in like my garage a big thing of nutella um some pesto actually like sauces back there too orange sauce for chicken and whatnot I have some backups of rice and just like random I we don't really eat these but I had bought those like kind of in a panic uh, not you know a while ago here some rices um, and mac and cheese and things so like really unhealthy sodium filled the stuff and then in my garage um, like I had said it's it's not organized whatsoever. I will get there. Um, I have a thing of diced peaches. I got these from Sam's Club. This uh, backup of peanut butter. I had got a two pack from Sam's Club. So that's why the other one's in here. Um, some liquid IV. Uh, God forbid we need something like that. Um, some buffalo sauce. This was way more stocked, but I've been using. I like don't just use, you know, leave it here. I definitely use my stuff. Um, buffalo sauce, more peanut butter some like canned fruit and whatnot. I have a backup of oil. I have quite a few backups of water just randomly. This <laughs> is like so random. Um, we have a thing of applesauce. Sydney definitely likes variety so I try to get whenever I can. I think this was from Sam's Club. Um, like the variety flavors so she doesn't get bored with it. Of course some trash bags. I bought this from Sam's Club as well. Just like six boxes of different varieties of pastas. Good to have on hand. Of course like random snacks. I just threw some pretzels in there, some Cheez-Its. I have smart food hanging on right here. 
Uh, big thing, a box of like Kraft mac and cheese. There's like 18 boxes here. That's pretty full. I think we've only taken a couple out. Um, this is like shelf stable yogurt. Really good to have just, I don't know, if you like lost power, God forbid, or something. I don't know, you'd still have like snack pouches of yogurt. This is peach and strawberry. Not the healthiest. I like to do Stonyfield, but that's way more expensive, of course. So that's just nice to have as far as a backup goes. And then I have a thing of canned green beans, like eight cans of that. Um, but as far as my freezer goes, I have been living out of this. So this was actually a lot more full, but I've been using a lot. We have um, some frozen pizza dough. I just used one the other night. These are cookies that the company sent to me and I have a bunch of my regular freezer as well. I had a, a couple of boxes of Uncrustables, but like I said, we've been using, like this was full of Uncrustables. We've been using it. I have a thing of Texas toast. Um, freezer meals from Trader Joe's, like frozen ravioli, frozen rice, um, gnocchi. We have another, oh, I actually did not know that I had, I actually did not know I had a vegetable fried rice in there. More green peas. And I actually just used a thing of frozen peas last night, so that's in my regular freezer. Uh, we have some frozen silver dollar pancakes, waffles, like Kashi waffles for Sydney that she just loves um a pie crust like super random but for thanksgiving i made sure i had a pie crust on hand in case of any shortages um these are from trader joe's as well those like bao buns those were are gonna be good lunches for sydney i feel like all the freezer stuff none of it's healthy it's all frozen and well besides the frozen vegetables we have frozen broccoli frozen mixed veggies tater tots um Bagel bites, meatballs, those are like frozen beef meatballs. Um, I do need to get in here and get organized, but we've been living out of it. So yeah, I feel like it's full of sodium and, and like unhealthy stuff, but it is what it is. I just put this in my regular freezer, but I had a backup of these uh, like chicken nuggets. I know chicken nuggets are a little bit harder to come by these days. We have more frozen peas and waffles. Uh oh, now I'm not gonna be able to get that back in. Um, puff pastry I had just used, but there's another one in there. Like um, we had frozen fruit, like frozen raspberries, lots of frozen vegetables in here and like um, raviolis and whatnot. I always like to have some of these on hand. These are the frozen like flatbreads. I have a bunch in here and chicken too. I have some frozen chicken. But and then in here we have like a bunch of bat like soups and things like easy, easy things if God forbid if we were not feeling well. This is oatmeal, backup of sugars, regular like oats, applesauce. Um, and then I did make sure I had a backup of all of the things that I'll need for, for baking, um, just in case. Sweetened condensed milk, evaporated milk, pumpkin, steel cut oats. We have, make sure, I made sure I had flour and sugar and all of that, and all of my vinegars and oils, olive oils, rice, um, pickles. We have pasta sauces, I don't know, breadcrumbs. It's totally the next day when I filmed that, so good morning. Um, I also have like backups of paper towels, toilet paper, uh, like dish detergent and, and things like that. So yes, I know it's not the healthiest, um, but we've actually used a lot of it, but like all the frozen veggies, so happy to have. Even the chicken nuggets, like yeah, they're, but those are not horrible ones. Um, and I have in my pantry as well, I have like whole grain uh, pancake mix and things. The only thing that I will need it are, um, I, I do wanna have fresh fruit and produce um like eggs milk bread and fresh produce so those are the things that i will need and check in as well um to probably order probably within the next couple of days because my fridge is getting low but i just i don't know thought i would give you a peek at what i have backups on uh again like i know it's not the healthiest but we're surviving